How are we doing, everybody? Hola. Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggy With It. I'm Will. I'm Audrey. And what are we playing today? The Gardens. The Gardens. So it, it actually says it in the back, too. Back in the front. Uh, the Gardens. The Gardens is by Grow Games. It is a tile laying game where you are trying to build out the best botanical gardens of Sydney, Australia. Um, it uh, recently was on Kickstarter, so some of the components we have here are Kickstarter versions or the Deluxified components. Uh, I'll mention them. I think there's only two items, so it's kind of easy to remember what's Deluxified and what's not. Um, I don't know about the screen printed meeples. Normally that's a Kickstarter exclusive too, but I'm not totally sure on this game. Uh, either way, we'll go ahead and get the camera flipped over. I'll do a quick rundown of how the game plays, and then of course we will get to play it. Maybe. There we go. There we go. All right, so we are set up for a two-player game of the gardens. Why is that? Because there are two players. Because there garden. are two players in this. In this, well, there's one player and and one person who's pretending to play. Um, oh. I didn't say who was who. I can make your own choice on that one. Uh, so this is the gardens. Uh, as you can see, we're set up. We each have our two player boards. Um, so there are two different types of player boards. One are the player boards with the actual landmarks. Uh, one are player boards that are blank that don't have the landmarks. It's considered an easier gameplay. Uh, we decide, I decided to just go ahead and do the landmarks. That way we can show off the landmarks. It didn't seem like it was really that much more complicated for at least our skill level, um, but maybe for newer gamers, uh, you'd want to play without. The boards are all double-sided, uh, but that does mean that only certain landmarks are usable uh, depending which way you have this board flipped. Um, so that is... Uh, something to be aware of. Uh, but we are set up with these landmarks and these boards. We have to play the same board. So everybody at the table would play the exact same board. Uh, we have our scoreboard up there along with our objectives. Uh, we have our row of cards or I'm probably end up calling them tiles half the time because it reminds me of a tile lane game. Technically they could be tiles. Uh, and then we have our monuments up here uh, that we can earn by building out our garden. So in a two-player game, it is set up a little bit differently. Normally, you're only going to have two cards per, or three cards per row or four cards per row if it's a three or four player. Uh, in a two-player, you do four cards because you actually take two turns each. Um, in a normal game, it's eight rounds. In a two-player game, it's four rounds. Overall, you're still building the same amount of gardens. So that doesn't change. So on our turn, uh, we're each going to pick a card. So say I just picked this tree here. This is the B column. I've got to put it in the B column. Then I'm going to move my worker. So I move my worker here, or not my worker, my visitor. They're called my visitors. Mm -hmm. Visitor. Uh, in a two player game, you'll rotate, lay down uh, the visitor to show that you've already placed a tile or a card in that row. Um, and then I'm gonna take whatever action based off of the scoring objectives. Now these are the base scoring objectives. There are some additional objectives that are in the box, which are a little bit more complicated. Uh, but for this one, for example, it's a tree. And it says for every tree, that my visitor went through, I'm going to get, or at least in this case, palm trees that they saw, I'm gonna get points. So in this case, there are two palm trees, so that means I'm going to get two points. Uh, in a future turn, if there was another palm tree out here, this one doesn't qualify, but we'll pretend. Uh, and I were to lay that in that same row, of course that goes down here on the bottom, uh, then my visitor would go over here, and it saw two palm trees here, two palm trees there, I get four points for my palm trees. Um, and we're gonna continue doing that, having our visitor go back and forth along the path, scoring based on the scoring objectives, uh, which I'll go over in a second, uh, until, well, we have a full garden. Uh, the other thing is these landmarks. So the landmarks can be activated in two different ways. One is an ability, the other is just scoring for points. Uh, so you can set it up one of three ways, all abilities, all points, or mix and match like we've done here, some abilities, some points. The first person to put a card on top of a landmark gains that landmark, and then of course they get to put the cute little landmark uh, meeple, which is one of the deluxe upgrade components on their board. The other deluxe component are these little statues. So some of the cards will have statues on it, so same thing, uh, you'll just put the little cute little meeple there. Uh, the, it's made so it's easier for playing against the table and with more people they can see what uh, you've already obtained, like what's on your board, what's on your card. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. 
Uh, for our objectives, um, the base objectives, the first one is the one I had already mentioned, which is going through the garden. And whenever you go to trees, so you see all those different trees, um, if, however many of the same species as you're gonna score one point for. The next one is the lakes and streams. So for whenever you land on a fountain, so there are different uh, fountain cards. This one here is a fountain with a stream, but there can also be fountains with no stream. When you land on this, every stream you go through, you're gonna get a point for that. Uh, the starting card here has a stream on the top and the bottom. So those actually qualify as a stream. And then the last one is the park benches. So this has a park bench, that has a park bench. Uh, whenever you get to a park bench, it scores all of the cards um, basically around it. So all of the um, tiles around it. All right. Uh, end of game scoring is you get one point for every tree in your, um, every species of tree in your garden. Uh, one, what is it? One, three, six, and 10. Uh, you get one point per piece of a stream. So if you have two pieces, that's two. If you have all three pieces, um, then that is five. You get a point per path of your longest path, depending how it goes. It can go up and around into different sections of your garden. And then if you have the most statues in this one, as soon as I read that, I felt like that was unfair. But for every person that you have more statues than, you get 10 points. This could be like, honestly, I feel like this could break the game because I feel like if you're playing a four player game and you have more statues than three people, you're getting 30 points, like right there. Like, I don't know, if, I, I don't know how the rest of the scoring works. That's a lot of points. And especially if you've picked up some of these like tens with the landmarks or whatnot. Um, but that's it. So we're going to keep playing through our rounds, get our points and see who wins. Now we do need to determine who gets to go first. Without 20 sided extra life die for Children's Miracles Network. Children's Miracle Network. Yep. Para los niños. Para los niños. Already you have already you have already destroyed your garden. Adri is destruction on games that require things not to move around. She's very good at that. Oh, I completely messed up. Oh, but what are we what are we doing with uh, Extra Life and Children's Miracle Network? Oh, we support we help los niños, los niños. with uh, donations. Yep. And you can also help them using the links down below. Yep. So we always have a link down below for uh, it's our link tree link. Click on that. Click on Extra Life. Click donate uh, and make niños feliz. Uh, I am going to say odd because I'm an odd one. Mm -hmm. She's going to hit the metal. Move the metal. No, instead she's going to roll it over. But, it uh, went that, that, that way. Is, that isn't even, it, went, <laughs> it went that it way didn't... because there was stuff there. It was 14. So that was even. That means odd that he gets oh. to select uh, her tile first or her card first. Uh, so what are you going to go after? <laughs> So only one. Yeah, you draw. We do one at a time. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to look at your objectives. Now you have to place the tile like other games. You have to place the tile next to or the card next, next to, to another one that you've already placed. So uh, you're kind of building out from the center. These trees don't count, or do they count? Uh, that is not one of the species of trees, but yes, no. if they if they were, then they would count. This one? So the let's see here. Uh, I'm going back to the starting tiles because let me see what they what the starting tiles have on them. They've got a picture in here somewhere in this giant rule book. So the top card is a stream and a pathway. Um, the middle is just a pathway, but it has no connections. And then the bottom is a stream and pathway. So this is considered a pathway, but it doesn't connect anything. So really, this middle one doesn't score you anything. <laughs> now, maybe one of the other cards, one of the um, Alternate scoring conditions maybe has something with unconnected pathways. Okay. Take this. All right. And then so you have to put it either on the left or the right. And then you have to move your visitor and then turn it clockwise, counterclockwise, one way or the other. Um, and so you visited one tree, so you get to move up one on the point track. You don't have your little your little handy dandy I don't know where the went. your thingy. All right, so I'm going to, oh, you took that pond. I was gonna take that pond. 
Um, so I'm going to take, I'm going to do the little purple tree. Beezy. Bella, sweetie, you can't dig to China. No digging to China. Lay down on your bed. Lay down on your bed, sweetie. Come here. Come here. All right, so I move my guy. Uh, so I get one point for visiting one arbol. That little thing in the middle keeps moving on me. So I get one point. Oh, I didn't refill there. So... No, it doesn't refill until we, we empty this out. So... so one round is all of this. So I'm at one in here. Yeah. yeah, I guess we'll have to sit on top of each other. <laughs> okay. So now it's your turn. Mm. So this... The trees can be, they don't have to be together, I as long as they have the four species. They, it, has to, it has to be together in terms of the walking path, but they don't have to be together in terms of like the whole path that your visitor is walking. So like if you had a yellow here and then you end up putting a yellow way down here and he goes from here to here, he would, that would count as two because he walks that So wait, path. this one, is this a walking path? That's a walking path. So he's not connected to this? It's not connected to that. I they, can stop? No, no, no. They can walk anywhere. The, the visitors can walk anywhere. They, what, these, are, these are very rowdy visitors. They don't seem to obey the law of the land of, you know, Do we refill or do no, we? No, we just keep, keep drawing. Mm -hmm. Keep drawing. Keep drawing. Just keep drawing. Just keep drawing. It's like, it's like, it's like Dory. <laughs> So then that visitor goes over. Nope, not that one. Oopsie. They have to stay in their stay in their row. They're not allowed to go into the other row. Uh, so you go over here, and then that is uno arbol. So you get one point. All right, so I'm going to do... Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to do it this, yeah, this way. So I'm going to put a lake there for me. I go there and then I score for each. I don't know if I score for the starting tile though. For the park benches. Let's see here. Uh, benches. If your visitor drops on a, or st drops, <laughs> stops on a card with a bench, count the number of garden tiles that are adjacent to it. Um, either orthogonally or diagonally. Don't forget to include the segments of the central board. Okay, so you do you do count um, what is a uh, you do count this, and this counts as three. So it's next to one, two, three. So I get three points. Don't make that face. I don't, I don't understand that part. It's everything around this park bench. So you can see mm. my visitor went and sat on a park bench, and you can see all around. Mm -hmm. So this counts as three tiles. The starting counts as three tiles. What would have been nice, what what and it doesn't have, but what would have been nice is like, this could be variable as well, but it's it's one piece. I don't, I think on the other side, it's the same. I don't think it changes. Yeah, it's the same on both sides. All right, so I get I get three points. You're good, that's pretty good. Yeah, that, that's, we have, we have, you're, you're the scorekeeper. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Do that, no? Um, I grab one tile. There's gonna mm -hmm. be a... Um... It's going to be oh. Does this count as two? Yeah, it counts as two. Mm -hmm. Let's go on the bottom. That's good. Cool. See how it matches? Oh so it it match oh C C C C C C C C C C C C Alright. Um so I'm gonna do this one. This is my second one in the middle, which means this is the last one I can take for the middle row this round. Um, so I'm going to move him and the flip side side down. He went to a fountain, so he gets to count every stream that he went through to get to this fountain. So he went through one, two streams. So I get two points. Oh, and you get two points for your two trees. So one, two, three, one, two. Yep. All right. And then oh, and then I did cover up the uh, lions so i get the lion meeple uh, and then i get this card so this is worth three points at the end of the game so i got an extra three points at the end of the game 
Now, all of the, I think I mentioned, but all of the monuments or all the, the landmarks aren't used in every game, right? There's only five of the total landmarks. How many are there? Three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. There's five on this side. There's five on the other side. That's only ten. Huh. I have to look at the other side of the boards. I don't know. I guess you could also make it a longer game if you wanted to make it longer by just adding the other two boards on the outsides can make it a really long game. <coughs> um, this one. All right. So then your visitor goes over there and goes upside down to show that that's your second one of those, but you do get two points for two trees. All right. Um, that's not going to do me much good because it's not going to go anywhere. So I think I'll do... I'll do this. I don't know why. I don't need to fight over these. I get both of these no matter what. Um, the bench would get me the bench would get me more points but it cuts off my lake well and this would cut off my path so either way I'm cutting something off I'll do this because it gets me more points so I go here and I get one two three four points quattro points no, one, two, three, All right. Back to you. You are muy far away from me. Yes, yeah. So these are basically both of these are yours. It, it doesn't matter at this point. You get both of them, I get both of them. So just we just have to take them one at a time. And then if I take this, no. It, these are yours. You're, they're, you're getting them no matter what. But I want to cover this. You're going to have to wait till next round. Because you can only do two in a row. And you already did your two in a row. You should have put this one over there if you wanted to cover that one up this time. Mm. So I can still get yeah. this. But just put it somewhere either, else. Either side, yeah. Oh, hang on. How are these backwards? Oh, I guess when I put them back, I put them in the wrong spots. Sorry. All right, so then your guy walk, your visitor walks over there and gets two points. And then, like I said, it doesn't matter. I get both of these. Um, I guess I'll do the bench first since I've already ruined my stream here. So that gets me a park bench. So that gets me one, two, three, four more points. You let me have all the park benches. So this one is yours. You just have to decide which. But you say it is me. It is mine because. Because you. Because have, you're right. Yeah, I've already done both of my bottom ones. I can't draw another bottom when you've only done one bottom, so you have to do it. So I can either do it here or here. Yep. I'm gonna go there. All right. And so I get you two points. It gives me two points. This one over here. And I go. There, and that gets me one, one point. All right, so that is a full round. Now we just need to put out the new cards. Four. Right, so per round is just two, up to just two mm -hmm. per row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's two per row. So normally in a regular game, it's one per row. Right, because you're playing, you're playing extra, you're playing eight rounds instead of four. In a two-player game, it's two per row because you're playing four rounds instead of eight. Um, and then we put all of our, all of our people, all of our little visitors, straight up now because they start over. But just where they are. Yeah, just where they are though. They don't, they don't go back to the entrance. Uh, and then the first player marker comes over to me, so I get to go first. Mm. I don't like any of those middles. I really don't. I'm going to do the fountain. A key. 
So I go through one, two, so I get two points for that. Because that counts as one of the streams to the fountain. I get this tree and I can cover that. Yep, cover that tree up. Tree. Oh, and then he comes here? Yeah, he goes there. How, what? Mm, he just goes, yeah, like, like, yeah that? like that. And then what What was that landmark? The... Oh, the seat. The, the seashell. I, I don't guess. know. That, the <laughs> the meeple, the, the, wooden, the wooden landmark thing doesn't do much. Now this will have to... So... This one you get one extra point per tree for the rest of the game. So this is a bonus now. You get one extra point per tree for the rest of the game. So you need to remember that. Um, so you did get a tree there. So you get two points. And then the the, the one that, in, that this one is at the end? That's end of game scoring. Yeah, for okay. having all the types. Mm -hmm. So two? You get two because you just got that bonus. Mm -hmm. Again, don't know if the bonus should apply this round or next round. We'll go ahead and say it applies this one. Um, and then I want um, I need the bottom of my stream so I can get all these points. So he goes here, but he doesn't he doesn't gain anything. There's nothing there's nothing on there. Um, now, one other thing you'll notice is on certain ones, there is a bridge. Mm -hmm. So the bridge would normally continue your path if you had a you know, path. The bridge counts as a continuation. And then this is a fountain. It's just a no. There's no stream attached to that fountain. I don't know. So every tree is going to give me a, one yeah, point. Yeah, it's a statue. That's a bench. Every tree gives you plus one point. Plus one point. Yeah. But then you got to look at what, what are they going to walk through to get to that tree. So, for example, this one here, if you put this tree here, right, because it's red, he would walk through one, two, and that'd be the third tree. So that'd be worth four points. Similarly, this tree here, and he would walk through there, and you'd get one tree, one tree for that one. And again, you gotta look at your paths, look at your other stuff too. You got the yellow, so same thing. If you put the yellow one here, you'd pass that yellow, get two more yellow, four points. Mm, I'm gonna do this one. All right. So then your visitor walks over there. And again, it's four. Four. Okay, I almost called you up right there on that one. So I'm going to do. I'm getting it. The other side. So I've got one, two. So I get two points because that one doesn't count because it's not a stream, but I did go through two streams to get there. All right. Another lake, which would get me the casa. I'm gonna have to see what that one does. It's one time something. It's me, my turn, right? Mm hmm. So, what does that landmark do? That is the State Library of New Wales, or South Wales. And for now on, once per round, you may return a visitor to the central board. This must be done on one of your turns before you place a card. Why would I want to return him to the center board? That doesn't make sense to me. Like, I would think I'd want him to go as far as possible. I guess maybe if I'm putting something right next to this one, and I'd get more if he came from the beginning. So I'm going to oh, play, play this one here. Okay. That is four points because it has four trees. No, no, this one doesn't count the trees, but this he goes there. It's got a bench. The bench. So it goes there. Um, and then it is the... Entrance with the... The lions, which I've already got the lions. Oh, good. Uh, but you get to count all tiles around it. So one, two, three. So you get three points for that one. One, two, three. Um, I don't care for this this particular power so I'm, I was gonna go this way but I don't I don't think it does me any good to go this way now so I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna gain a statue here all right 
statue doesn't do anything until the end of the game. Unfortunately. Now there may be, like I said, I don't know what the other the other tiles are. I can look them up, but the other tiles might do other things. Did you get this one already? No, I'm one away from it. It's this one here. It's worth six points. Oh, I want it. So that means I have to get that's, this. Yeah, that's the only one. That, well, that one's yours anyways, because I'm was i upside down. I see. And then he moves here upside mm, down. It's nothing. That one doesn't have any. Por qué? There's no, there's no trees for him to point off of. There's Pero no he's park passing. He, it, the, it, the, you has score to be off that of way. what you land on. No, no, no. It's what you land on. And that particular tile, there's nothing you land on. That one, though, will help you if you can build another stream going up. Plus, again, you're getting the landmark, which is worth six points. All right, so I've already got all mine at the top, so I have to go from the middle because that's all that's left. Um, oh, he goes upside down. Yep. So I think I'll do this one here, which goes here, and that gets me one point. You didn't give me any points last time. No, because there's nothing on there that scores. It would have to have a park bench, or a tree, or a Or be a fountain. complete, uh, or complete these are the stream. Only, these are the only three things. Well, completing the stream will be the end of the game. But these are the only three things that score when your visitor goes to those spots right now. It's those three things. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> um... Oh, I forgot. I got a statue ready to put my statue on. Here. So he moves there like this. Yep. And then you put one of your statues on there. The pretty way. <laughs> the pretty way for the statue. All right. Um, so I'll take this one. I would have preferred my path to still go, but that at least gets me another... It gives me another statue, but doesn't give me any points. So it's like, now it's kind of like, okay, I got the two statues. So I'm right now I'm getting 10 points, but if you get another statue, then I don't get the 10 points. So you get the Amarillos. And that's stupid of me for to leave that, because that gives you a bonus point. Because of your It does your not card. do anything if I put it here. No, your guy just walks that direction. But I want, I'm waiting here for something. So Yeah. So if I put it there, he walks here. It gives me two? Three, because you get your plus one. This one? No, your your ongoing ability. <laughs> three. three. One, two, three. Yep. All right. So Avery will go first this round. Oh, that linen finish that everybody loves, yet at the same time we all hate. Whenever you have piles... Like, yeah, whenever you have piles that you have to draw off of, linen is not that great. Linen's good for a finish, it's good for like the shuffling a little bit, but then at the same time, when you have to have them as a stack, no bueno. And four, all right, so you get to go first. Uh -huh. Oops, we got to turn our, our visitors back upright. Go. Can't do that yet. Oh, because I don't have one here. I know, Will. Well, I, I might not get that one. I can't. That's not going to benefit me right now, although it is a pond. So a, I need to put something fountain. here, yes or yes. Yeah, you would have wanted to put that tree there. Blech. If I put this one here. Do I get doing a statue? Yeah, you get a statue. Mm -hmm. uh, which makes you tied for me with statues. And I get points? No. <coughs> oh, no, that's not what I want I to do. You. Oh. No, that's fine. I can still pick William! That. I can still pick that. 
So he goes, because I was like, over here, I'm like, I'm not going to cross any other streams. But if I go this way, he crosses one, two, three streams. Like, tres. Tres, por favor. <laughs> you got another statue. You didn't have to get that other statue. Okay. Back to you. Back to you. Back to you. It's too turn. Mm, mm. Okay, so we go here. What is what the fountain does? Uh, scores is... you for each stream that you go through. So yeah, you'd be one, two. This would give you three points. Either of these two would give you three points. worker or i keep saying worker because i'm thinking of a meeple and i'm like they're all they're workers and it gives me three yeah it gives you three one two three that's fine that'll do this one that'll give me so you'll go here that will give me uno oh hang on yeah i didn't have any other palm trees so just one If I get this fountain, it gives me points for every stream? Yeah, for every one that you go through. So one, two, three. And that one doesn't count as one, so. Oh, sorry, you should have only gotten two. I counted that as your third. It should have only been two in the last turn, so. So yeah, but then you get one, two, three for this turn. Wait, no. It goes like this, so yeah. I was here then. One, two, three. Okay. <gasps> right, so I'm gonna do. Oh, you took you took my. I had a combo going, and you took my combo. C -c 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 combo breaker. You took my stream. You took yeah. Well, I built my whole self stream. Because I was gonna come down here and then go all the way back to that one. Because I would have gone through all of all of these streams. All right. Um. Where's the other landmark? Oh, I did. Okay, I covered up this landmark, but I really don't care for this ability. It basically allows me to move my worker. Before I take a card, I can move a worker back to the center. So you can see the past trees? Hmm? Well, no. It just lets me take them back here to the beginning. So then, again, I don't understand the benefit of that because it's like, okay, it takes me back to the beginning. If I was here, I'd go all the way over to here. If I was here, I'd go all the way over to here. I guess, like I said, I guess it's if, like if I'm here and I want to put a card here and there's two lakes, I'm moving them back to the beginning first, then I get three lakes. That's mm -hmm. that's the only thing. There are times I guess it can come in useful. I'm, I'm thinking that lake and fountain situation is about the only time. Okay, so now... There you go, Beanies. Uh, I guess I'm gonna take trees. Yeah, trees give you bonuses. No, but I have to put it here. No, either, either side. Doesn't matter. Okay, so he goes all the way over to the other side, and that gets you three points. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do what this card lets me do, since I just, I thought that through. It actually makes sense now. So I'm going to move him here. And I'm going to get this fountain. Put the fountain here. So that's one, two, three. So I get three points for that. So it made sense. I was like, why, why would I do that? But that, that actually made sense. So, I'm sorry. Have I, have I missed out on any points? No. Oh, okay, we're just making sure here. See, because that's not you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna let you be the scorekeeper or the banker anymore. You're not allowed to be the scorekeeper or the banker. <laughs> it's not funny. It is. I know it is. <laughs> what do you got? You got middle guy and top guy. <laughs> top guy. Top guy give you the most points. The red tree. Why am I helping you? You're already beating me. 
I don't know. <laughs> you, know. you think so? Not that way, though. Yeah. yeah there you of go. Course. <laughs> of course. That's what you meant to do. How many trees did? How many red trees did you go through? Un dos, tres. Un dos, dos. Plus the one you landed on. Tres. Plus your extra point. ¿Cuál extra point? Cuatro. Four. Cuatro. See. Un dos tres cuatro. Okay. Here, I think the statue. Wink. Um, yeah, you kind of have to take that one. That's the only one left, which was stupid of me. Uh uh. See, because I passed the, I passed uh, the trees. There you go. Gracias. Okay, and so that's one, two, three, plus your extra, so one, four, two, more. Three, four more. One, two, three, four more. I, more, I don't one. know. I think that maybe you're behind because of me. Because I didn't give you your points. No. No, I haven't. I, most of this round has been unscoring for me. Most of this round I've, I've not scored on. So, yeah, I think that's the best one. All right, so the bench. So I get one, two, three points off the bench. All right. No. Okay. What? No, that was way more than three. You were here. One, two, three. Something. I've... I don't know this. This. You don't like this, the snake no. pass. And I don't like that it doesn't have the numbers. Okay. We will talk about that. We will talk about that in, in our first. Episode. In a moment. Uh, in un momento. I think my pat. Oh wow, that was all all statues. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna make it hard for me because I'm trying to get I'm trying to get the statue points right now. They're all statues. Ooh. Oh, do I have all the colors of trees? Oh no, I don't. <laughs> oh, another statue. Mucho ponds. All right. So, what color tree do I not have? I don't have yellow. I have a palm tree. I have a, okay. So I just don't have yellow. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do this here. Oops, we got to turn our, our me place nice. face up again. Come on, visitors. There we go. Um, which gives me the Grande Pre and Diaz points. Uh, what is my longest path? Not very long. My I don't longest, have any. My longest path is four. No, you have one here. One, two, three, four. You have a four. Oh, no, hang on. Mine starts over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. No. Gee. One, two, three, four, five. Six. It doesn't matter that it stops. It's every one that's connected. So that one's connected there. What do you mean? It just has to be touching another path. So this one, so I have one, one, yeah. two, three, four, five. No, that's not touching the path. This is connected but to this one. Not... It doesn't need to touch that one. It's touching that one. <laughs> okay, your, your turn. What tile do you want? No, I need... I have no way to make it any longer though. Oh no, I can't make it longer. There's no to choose from. If I do this one, mm -hmm. he goes all the way here. Yep. And he he discounts us one. No, it, 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 statues are the end of the game. Remember, statues. No, I mean the trees that I pass. There's no tree that scores on that one. It's only the pink, the purple, the red, okay. and the palm. Okay. So you just get your statue. Another statue. Speaking of which, I need to this one. Okay. And on the statue. Wink. I feel like we're going to run out of statues here. Because there's a lot left. There's no way. Like, I don't think there's enough statues. Once we're done, I'm going to count. Because that seems like a bad thing if they gave you less statues and you have cards for statues. 
I mean, unless their assumption is that nobody would ever get all of those statues. This is just at the end, right? The just... Yeah, that's at the end. Oh, no. Add to my... Add to my bench. He's on the bench, so that's one, two, three, four points. Extend your path. Oh, I don't want you. To, oh, you're at what? You're at three statues. I'm at four. If I give you this one, that'll put you at four. I'll take the top one to put me at five. You'll take the top one to put you at five. And there's the one in the middle, which would be the winner for that one. I'm, I'm debating if I want to just let you get the tree, which will get you two points, and then I guarantee to have hopefully one more statue than you. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I want to make sure I get the statues. So I'm going to take the statue. All right. So what do you got? Um, so I need this. This give me... Uh, you either have the two trees or the path with a statue. But what is there a three a tree here? I already got the tree. It was ten oh, points. This one. Yeah, I already got the tree. It will be this. Yeah. So it's whether or not you want three points for the trees or to take another statue. The thing is with the statues, if you look, I mean if you do the math right now, you're at three. This would give you four. This would give you five. Because you, you have to take one of those, right? So that'd give you five. I'm already at five. So there's no way you can win the statues. So mathematically, you're better off just taking the tree. And why would this tree give me two points? Because there are it two? It gives you three. Gives you two, yes, plus your bonus. After you move your visitor. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. And, and, and he, yeah, he's upside down. He's doing a he's doing a headstand. All right. So then it really doesn't matter what I take on the last two because it's, it's all the same. So I'll take this one. Doesn't really matter which one you take. Are you giving him a statue? Anyways. Well, yeah, you get a statue anyways and your oh your visitor. Oh visitor, go there. And then I get this one for my last visitor. Statue. You get the arbol. Only your guy was on that side. It would count it would Yeah, because then you'd get the two. Yeah, so this just counts as two because of your bonus. You almost made it all the way around the track once. Alright. So that is that. We are both built out. So now we're going to do in-game scoring. So I guess we'll score our um, extras. So I get 13 from my uh, landmarks. 13. All right. Um, and then you get six from yours. One, two, three, four, five, one. What do I do? To... Go to the one. Si, pero two... You're, you're yeah. at 101. Or you're at 51, basically. All right, so that is our bonus cards. Uh, now we score um, the tree variety. So I have all four trees, so I get 10 points. This would be 55, see? 50, was I 45 or 46? Where was I at? Right here, right here, yeah, let's say here. 
Okay. All right. Do you have all four trees? Sí. Rojo, morado, amarillo. And palm. Y palm tree. Y Florida. All right. So you can get it 10. Y Florida. Y Florida. So you are at one more. You're at one. Uh, yeah. There you go. Um, then we need to score our streams. So for two piece streams, you get two points. For three piece, you get five. So I get five, 10, 15 for me. So it puts me at 21. All right. And then you have five, six, seven. All right. And then we score the longest path or connecting paths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for me. <laughs> it's much easier. All right, what's your your longest is this one, right? That you built one, three. two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so five. So I'm going that way. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then the last scoring is for the statues. Whoever had the most statues gets 10 points. So you do. I get the 10 points. Two before the 40. I was two before the, I was two before How the 30. Many? Oh, you're before. Oh, no. Oh, I hated this. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I was at, what is that? Um, 88, 88. And Adri is at 72. The statues did it. You almost had called up. So I get the extra life medal. Para de Victoria. Victoria, it's in England, or it's in Australia. I think Victoria. Victoria? I think there's a Victoria in, in, in Australia. I don't know. Victoria. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over. We're gonna give our first impressions. So there we go. Uh, the first thing uh, that we always go over with our first impressions is components. Um, I don't mind any of the components, but I feel like there's some negatives to it. I mean, the art's okay. And it serves its purpose. It's not like the greatest mm -hmm. art. Um, the double layer board for the um, event tokens seems a little bit frivolous. Like it just seems overdone. Like I don't see why you technically need to do that. Same thing as I don't know why these need to be tiles. I don't get that. Again, it's the deluxification. I, I normally am not going to complain about deluxification, but it's the deluxification I'm not liking. The linen finish makes those cards hard to hard to mess with. The the you know I paid the upgrade to get the uh, pledge to get the upgraded buildings, but they really don't serve a purpose on your board. Like it says, so that way you can from a distance tell if somebody's already taken that. Well, you can tell because it's no longer on this board in front of us. Yeah. Similarly, this board in front of us is useless. It doesn't serve a purpose. It's extra material. Um, and then the last thing is, speaking of boards, I feel like everything is too big. I feel like they, except for one thing. I feel except one thing is too small. Except for one thing is too small. Yeah. I feel like everything could have been the size of the actual tiles for, for our board. So this scoreboard does not need to be as big. Right? Because there is a lot of space. But there's a lot of space where they added the stuff down there at the bottom, right? And I know people like scoreboards. Technically, they could have, you know, combined, they could have, instead of giving us this board, that could have been the scoreboard. Um, but what's too small are the objectives. The scoring objectives are very small. I mean, it, it, I don't know if you, if you guys, when you're watching the video, they're, they're very small. So you have to know what these are to know what they are. Similarly, on the bonus cards, if you're sitting far away from either of these two boards, you're going to be asking somebody, what, what are those things? Yeah. And there is even on each thing, like a lot of space around that they could have make it just bigger and not necessarily Especially put with this it board here. Being that big. Yeah. If you're going to give me that big of a board oh, and uh, one of those stupid <laughs> rule books that are the size of the box, I've never understood that. I hate rule books that are the size of the box just to be the size of the box. Again, I think this could have been a nice small box game about the size of land versus seas box, which is what like this by this, it's like an eight by eight box, which is roughly the size. I think it would have been much better. Otherwise, I mean, the components are nice. They're good. I don't think you need the meeples to play the game. I don't think you need these little statues. The statues I think do help. 
it was easy for me to know how many statues you had. Yeah, because they are very small in the picture. Because they're very small in the picture. So I, I do agree the statues help. I don't think the landmark buildings help just because of the fact that it's for table presence, which we, I like deluxification. I like table presence. But if I'm thinking of this now as a small box game, it's not a small box game because of the deluxified components and the oversized components. Um, anything else for you? Yes, this path here is, I mean, it could be me. It is maybe not good for me, but I think it first- Winding paths. Two, two meeples don't, don't fit. Can you imagine so a four player game? Exactly. Yeah. And, and without the numbers, I mean, the, the weight is, like the, it's the one it's that one it's piece. not I think, even I think, spiral like this i think for you yeah it'd be fine if it didn't have this wind in piece that wind -in, yes. anytime anytime it something goes mean, down and back the snake path always causes and issues. if it had the numbers, numbers it would probably help hey, i've never understood why they don't put numbers on every single numbers. i've never understood why you wouldn't i mean it's an aesthetics it is it's a visual graphics aesthetics thing i don't know why you wouldn't put them um and it seems like we're hating a lot on the components. So we'll get, we'll get into the to the next things. So the mechanics is the tile. Oh yeah, I was gonna do one more thing about the components. <laughs> so the, how many, we have four. I was gonna, it was the electrification. So there's one, I'm trying to see how many statues are left in the cards. So one, hang on, there, there may be just enough statues. Two, three, four, all right. So if there's no statues in A, we're good. If there's statues in A, we're not good. It's muy malo. Very good. All right. So I'm, I, it matches the amount. It, it matches okay. the amount. I wish I was like, I, we've got way too many A cards there. There's got to be one. There was none in there. So, um, which actually means that there's actually an odd number of statues per row. A only has five. Three, four, five. Oh no, okay, no, each row has five because you didn't have any on the bottom. That's why there were so many left in C. Okay, all right. So the mechanics, the drafting the drafting mechanism, and then it's the kind of worker placement. And that's the reason I backed this game, right? When we first started playing, because this one was back pretty early in our, in our hobby, we knew we liked tile placement and we knew we liked worker placement. And this had both, which is why I backed it. Uh, what did you think about the, the mechanics? Well, I don't feel much about the work, worker, the worker. worker placement. It's not worker play. I guess, yeah, it's not really worker placement. It's more just worker movement to gain the benefit of the card that you pulled. Yeah. That's kind of how the worker placement works is you're getting the benefit of wherever your visitor visits. And that's kind of like placing your worker, I guess, in a sense. No, I would not consider this a worker placement. Mm -hmm. What did you think about the other mechanics, like drawing the cards and, and building out your tableau? That was your, okay. Your that was, that was, I mean, the part of placing the tiles and making the pads and like trying to collect to, to get score the, the to score the objectives is, is fine. It's something that I like. That right. was, that was good. Yeah. So I do like that. I liked, I like that unique mechanic with the, with the visitor, the worker, whatever you want to call them. Right. Um, where you do want to plan where your visitor is before you draw the next card. Because a couple of times I had to, you, you're going to put a card. I'm like, no, that's not where you want to put your card because you wouldn't well, optimize Well, that was your, me not understanding. Yeah, you're not going <laughs> to optimize your points because your worker needs to go through to the other side. It was kind of like what I said with the, the bonus on this particular. But so the question is that about like counting how many trees you pass is that this or is that how that's the that game one. that's this so that's you, that you drew this randomly no i chose the basic tiles so the there are additional tiles in the box back there tree for different um scoring so yeah this will always be the tree scoring this will always be the fountain scoring okay. this will always be the bench scoring so th they're always that type of scoring this is your lake scoring or your stream scoring statue scoring uh path scoring and palm scoring now one of them does not have extras there aren't variants so there's no variant for the trees so the trees is always there where you get the 10 points for having all four trees 
and the uh, the stream one. This one's always so those two are always there. So those ones never never change. They're always going to be that way. Okay. Yeah. So, but the first three and the bottom two, those can change. Um, the other thing is the variability in the board. Oh, hang on, you might have won. It's for each row of of car. Okay. Um, you were at twenty, <laughs> and I was at four. Okay. Um, I lose. That's me, and that's you. I mean, uh, the other should, way. <laughs> we, should, we should switch that. I actually lose points. So I lose 10 right off the bat. I know that. So that puts me back here. Um, but then you do each row how many trees you have in the row. So this one, I only had one species. So I only get one. This one, I had two species. So I get three. This one, I had one two species so i get three right and then you lose your 10 right but then here you had one two three three no, no pine tree so you get six and then here you had one two three four, four. so you get ten and here you have one two three so you get six. Well, you said oh, also one point. One you said also point. that extra trees count, something like that. You said at the I thought I no, you get the plus one when you were going through your trees. I missed score. Did we count my six points? Yeah, we counted your six points. Uh, so I misscored this. So this one here isn't the number of trees total, it's per row you gain these. So Audrey actually got a lot more points and I got a lot less. So she's actually, now the, the losing score is by one point and that's give or take us not moving my meeple. Or so I said I lose and you win. Okay. Let's lose. <laughs> For those that haven't heard, Audrey's not, first it's not funny. lose meeting light. Uh, but not no, lose I, the loser. I like the mechanics. The mechanics are kind of unique. Um, the game we were thinking of this before we started playing this was Tree Lined Avenue. Um, the mechanics between Tree Lined Avenue and this one, which one did you like better? The Tree Avenue. The Tree Lined Avenue you think you like better? It's also smaller. Both are language independent, so they're both I nice for us to take down to Colombia. Um, it has animales. That's, this has animales? Oh, the first token the, player. The, the first player token. <laughs> Uh, next is difficulty. How would you how the would you rate the difficulty? Um, I don't think it is difficult, but it's difficult to like this is supposed to work also like a kind of a player aid, right? If yeah. you were able to see it, so like I forgot many times what the points going. Yeah, is. how is where do, did I have to place my my card so I would make more points because. But it is the first playthrough, so I think like the more yes, you were to play a game, but course, no, the more I think learn. difficulty is low. Well, um, it's low, I'm yeah. Two, it, two and a half. Yeah, it's definitely not a three. No. Um, yeah, it's definitely low. Um, however, you know that isn't to say that this game can't be more advanced. We did play with the advanced tiles, so we did play with the landmarks, which definitely changes things up. Um, the other scoring objectives are more difficult, so that would change things up a bit. Um, and then if you're not playing with the landmarks, you can actually do variable starting positions, meaning you, you move your, uh, starting tile somewhere else on the board. You don't start in the middle. Mm -hmm. You can start to the left, right, wherever, you, wherever you want to start. So I think those kinds of things can help. And then the other is the perfect puzzle aspect of it. I don't know what a high score is. Somebody else would have to let us know if they've played this game and what the high score is. But I mean, we we scored less than 100, right? I think right now we're at 85-ish. So I don't no, know we, if that's we a good score. we passed this. Yeah, so that's 50. And then we're at 35 Oh, right you're now. right. Yeah, so 50 plus 50. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Like the more maybe you can figure out the puzzle, like sometimes I was trying to build the path, but then I'd have to not build the path. So it was like... 
you could maximize that point. Um, I wasn't going after trees at all. I kept going for the lakes and streams, which don't score as well as the trees. So it would have been better for me to go with the trees. However, if you get all the different varieties of trees, then you don't get that extra duplicate bonus of traveling through the same tree in that path. Because mm. you got to think, if I get a red and a purple and a, and a yellow and a, and a palm, make point that, that's, that. That, that's already taking up four of your eight total slots. So definitely, I think there, you, you can really get thinky with this. Um, and it's probably got a lot for somebody who wants a little bit more to do um, by, by figuring out that plan. And seeing what the other person is doing so you know how what to card affect to take. them yeah by taking their their stream that they want yep <laughs> and then uh the last uh no not the last thing uh fun at two mm, i think it was good at two i i like the the variation they created is nice because that would be one of the bad things with two players is if you only had two cards out there you've really limited it's it you're basically forced to take yeah. what the other person didn't take on a three-player game the first two people have an option of card the third player doesn't, but eventually they're going to become the first and or second player. So it, it kind of rotates who gets shafted, for lack of better words. Uh, but this, I think I do like what they did with that to change that up to make it playable at two players. Um, the last thing is the theme. Uh, what did you think of the theme of building out your garden and having your visitors visit the places? I like that theme. But... But I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> like she stops and like you know there's a butt there somewhere there's a butt there <laughs> <laughs> but um i don't know i i i mean no i think it was just like in general what makes me be maybe negative about the theme as well because it i mean it is it is I didn't see like passing the trees and the reason why you're a bench and what the bench maybe if it was something related to like resting or something like that I don't know how to say or yeah. so the the thematicness isn't there it's just the theme that they've put on the game yes so yeah because there's usually yeah there's two there's two things of a theme right mm -hmm. one is the theme meaning do you like what it's about right. oh i like nature i like cats i like marvel mm -hmm. and then there's the thematic gameplay and did you feel like you were playing that thing like did you feel like you were a marvel character beating up on a bad guy mm -hmm. did you feel like you were building and creating a city you know stuff like that um yeah i i wasn't really looking at the theme either i was i knew i was building out of botanical gardens but I wasn't making it pretty. I wasn't making exactly. it the way that I wanted to make it, right? And I get the person was going through the botanical gardens. But yeah, I, I don't feel like... I felt like I was I, doing that. I, I like the theme, right? I like nature. I like building out the gardens. That's the reason we like Tree Line Avenue and similar games. Uh, and really, this week is Nature Game Week. We're going to be playing Nature Game on Saturday and a Kickstarter Nature Game on Sunday. Um, so we definitely like Nature Games. I think that also I would have enjoyed more if it if it was always like you had to connect the tiles because that is what uh, I like. So like if the path the was mandatory, pattern. like mm -hmm. if you had to always connect, like the park, the park one. What is the name of that one? That is one of the parks. That oh, we the play that the Meeple Land. Meeple Land. Yeah. Uh, so it, it, there is something different because okay, you cannot make it actually the way you want to make it look like, but. You're making, there is a you're purpose making a purpose to your, your paths have to connect. Yes, it doesn't seem like when I saw here, it, I thought, you know, yes, like why do I have this stream in the middle of my two paths? Yes, yeah, yes, yes, no, yes. so yeah, it does break the theme as well because you can't, you're not building your park, you know, which in this is case, what the visitors garden. would walk by. Yeah. So I thought, <laughs> she was, I... yeah, she's like, why are they leaving the path? That was it, that was like <laughs> the very beginning of the game. Why are they walking paths? How did they get off the path? I thought They're that the, the, the visitors working in the garden was. I mean that that was really related to the path. Of well, it's each like we of went the to the tides. botanical gardens of Columbia. I'm like, am I allowed to walk in the grass? <laughs> we just started walking in the grass. I'm like, I don't think you're supposed to do this. <laughs> All right, um, but yeah, so that is the gardens. Uh, if you like the gameplay and so what you saw and you think you'd want to pick this up, I'd imagine uh, Grail Games has this up on their website. Um, there's also a walk in the park, which like we mentioned, we will be playing eventually. It's a roll and write 
or a flipping, I think it's a flipping right version of this game. So it's smaller. So honestly, that's one thing I said about this footprint being big, but I like it language independent. So that makes it hard to say, okay, we're going to take it down to Columbia with this because it's a big box. But maybe this one, maybe the, the a walk in the park would, would meet that requirement. Originally, I wasn't going to back that, but then I think they added this all in pledge with the meeples and Either way, they want to watch that gameplay, the two other nature Kickstarter, the Kickstarter, two other nature games, including the Kickstarter uh, gameplay. What do they need to do? Subscribe. Subscribe. Activate notifications. notifications. And all oh, that YouTube stuff. You didn't do it with me. <laughs> oh, all that YouTube stuff. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Adios. Peace.